So here's my useless box, my useless machine, um, built from scratch. Servo, I took all the electronics out of it and just wired directly to the motor. Um, I printed this uh, arm, micro switch, battery, and another switch. That's it. This isn't an original idea. Um, I've seen one, a few in Make Magazine. I can't take credit for it, but it was very fun to build. You can get a kit for like 30 bucks I think and um, it's really not too bad I spent $13 for this cool little box at uh, Hobby Lobby um, servos probably $3 you know batteries and a holder a couple bucks switches a couple bucks so you're looking at you know, depending on what kind of a box, how nice of a box you have, you know, 10 or $20, you could make the box if you were uh, that kind of a, had that kind of talent. Okay, so we're going to modify this servo. So we're going to take the back cover off. Actually going to remove all this electronics. And we're going to connect two of these wires directly to the motor. We're going to remove the chip. We can also remove the potentiometer, and we also need to remove the, there's a stop in there that um, prevents this gear from turning continuously. Go ahead and cut this wire. What's a wire? Mm-hmm. All right. Cut it. The, uh, Potentiometer is actually uh, part of the main spindles, so I have to use it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mess mess up these wipers, but so that it'll just rotate around continuously. So I made it so it can spin. This uh, little latch I'm going to actually cut here and here so it'll look like it, it's there but it just really won't be holding it. So on our micro switch, we're using the contacts that are normally closed. So you can see that the circuit is made until the arm comes back to rest. And then it's going to open up and stop the motor turning. So our power is going to come in on the center uh, two pins on the switch. That's actually the wiper as you as you flip the switch, the center pin gets connected to either the bottom or the top. Well, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to hook one of the wires of the motor up. It can be either one. Then we're going to get a jumper. And the jumper is going to the diagonal side. So we're going to go all the way over here for this jumper. And 
All right, so when the switch is up, this positive from the battery is connected to this positive, and this negative is connected to this negative. So the bat the motor will be turning in a certain direction. The arm will come out. Well, the arm will come out, turn it off. Okay, so then you see that this wire is just switched. This one is going to go through this little micro switch to here so that when it gets to the resting position, everything stops. All right, so we'll connect one of the wires to here, the other one to here. So here's the behavior you're going to see. Here's our switch. When I hook up power, you switch it, it reverses the direction of the motor. But when it's going in reverse and you click this, it stops it. You can see that if you go and you turn it on, it's going to come out, click the switch back, and then it'll hit this micro switch and stop. So you can see this box is pretty light, so it's not quite what I wanted, so I actually have some chunks of iron. I'm gonna, I'll just hot glue them in here. So there's nice weight to it and uh, better operation. 